Now, this is interesting. Hello, mate. How are you? Not too bad. You're from Australia? Yeah, probably. Come in it. Where about Australia from? Townsend. Nice to meet you. Nice I used to live in Melbourne. Did you? Yeah, loved yeah. it. Yeah. What a place. Yeah. I'm doing a food review on which bagel shop we're going to start with. Well, well, we're with my friend's son who lives here yeah. and his girlfriend. Yeah. And they reckon that this is the best in the Well, look, look at the footfall. See the difference. Yeah. They're queuing, they're not. Now, anyway, nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. <laughs> Love Australians. <laughs> Up yeah. Right. Um, I had the bagel a minute ago. I'm like, that will be uploaded as part one. This is part two. Welcome if you made it past the first one to this one. Now, I walked in that shop and immediately it didn't get me. There was something missing. And she and they, she, then they microwaved my bagel, which I thought was a bit weird. Didn't like it. And it when you microwave something, it puts that weird moisture and stickiness into the bagel. Uh, it was, it, the food was great, the salt beef was lovely, there's just something not quite right, didn't get me. Straight away, I walked into this place and there's an energy, an atmosphere, there's a spark, there's an electricity. The guys at the back are making the bagels, it's packed. Look at this, they're queuing. Have a look, at check, check out how much the queue is there. And it can't just be me. Look at the other one, no one there. So, you people are debating which one of these two is the best. I've even tried this yet and I'm already in love with the place. There's an atmosphere about it. You can't buy that stuff. I'm serious, drink watch. Fairly basic fridge, but I'm gonna whip it out anyway. Whoosh! Diet Coke, nice and refreshing, cold Diet Coke after my salt beef bagel on Brick Lane in London. That was good, wasn't it? Right, let's have a look at this bagel. Stacked up the beef a little bit different. Let's fluff that a little bit, give them a uh, oh, juicy meat. Not as much meat as the other one. Not as much meat, same price, three, four pound 50, four pound 50. Bagel feels a lot better in the hand though already. Let's dive in and give it a go. Different leg. That bagel is non-comparable to that one. Not comparable. I love that one, by the way. This has got a nice texture to the outside of it, where the other one was like, sticky and sweaty, where she microwaved it. Can't do that sort of stuff. Especially not when you're about to get reviewed by Food Review Club. Big up. Now, this queue is ridiculous now, by the way. It's about 60 or 70 people long. Let's try the salt beef. Have a look at that. A lot more juicy. A lot more. Oh wow, that's like. Yeah. Okay. That's not even with the. I had a lot more meat over there. They're probably giving away more meat because they can't sell them quick enough. Speaking to the guys in there, said how many you reckon selling a day? And he said, I think the best one is like five thousand one hundred twenty-four in a day. 5,000 of these. He said they don't have a they don't have a front door key. It's open 24-7. Every day of the year. They're queuing up to the block. Like you ask, you guys are debating which one's better, the bagel shop or the bagel bake? This place on Google has got 4,000 reviews. Averaging like 4.6 stars or something. The battle of Brick Lane has well and truly won by bagel bake. Time for a score. It's giving us an 8.8. .8. And that is a review.